You have one of these electric brake controllers from Takancha and there is a SH code on there and when you activate it there is zero brakes on your travel trailer. I'll show you what to look for to fix that. So after you looked at all the exposed wiring uh, going to your electric brakes here and everything likely will look fine it goes through the axle tube and as you're driving along these bounce a little bit and it wears off the insulation and causes a short. So what I'm going to do is clip the wires here And on the other side of the axle, I'm going to pull these wires all the way through. Okay, on the other axle here, I'm going to pull the wires all the way through. Okay, sure enough, there's some wires exposed there, the insulation is rubbed off. Next what I got is I'm going to run the wires on the outside so I'm going to uh, run it through some wire loom here and then I'm going to take some zip ties and secure it to the outside of the axle. Okay I have my wires on the outside here and I have it secured so it is not on the top of the axle, so in case the axle bottoms out, it is not hitting the frame and smashing the wires. The polarity does not matter on this when you hook them up, so you can use the same color wire, it does not matter. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the scotch lock connector on there, I'm going to shove the two wires in there, and put our cap on there and pinch it with the pliers. And this is a three-way, so the third hole, since we're not using it, I'm going to take a hot glue gun and fill it with some glue. Keep the water out of there. Okay, got that uh, secured up there. Got the hole plugged up with some uh, hot glue. I'll go ahead and uh, do the other side. I'll connect the wires over there. And if you have a twin axle, you might want to uh, double check the uh, wiring on there. And as a preemptive uh, repair, just go ahead and redo that as well.